you feel that personal call to serve. It comes deep from within your own heart and is part of who you are. And then you answer that very personal call. And what's the first thing that happens? That's right, you start thinking about other people. You see, very few of us can fulfill our personal call to serve without the help of others. They're there for you, and you're there for them as they answer their own personal calls. Pretty soon, we have a, we have a web of interconnections, and I call that community. Nowhere in my experience is that more evident than my colleagues who make up the Easter Seals DC, Maryland, Virginia Board of Directors. Without exception, they're people who feel a powerful personal call. That's brought them here to Easter Seals where they devote immeasurable amounts of time and effort to those with disabilities and special needs. Would the members of the Easter Seals board please stand up or wave so that we can thank you for all you do? At my company, TSI, we donate time and resources to charitable organizations that nourish leadership potential in those who need a helping hand. And one of those organizations is Easter Seals. During the past six years, as I've served on this board, I've gotten to know Easter Seals while uh, seeing a lot of potential being nourished um, during that time. For example, when my team and I visit the child development centers to read to the children. We see those children thriving and growing in an inclusive environment. It's really energizing. Or when we volunteer at the intergenerational center on respite days to give parents a break as we spend the day with the children, we witness firsthand the type of stimulating experiences that promote each and every child's social, emotional, physical, and cognitive growth. You know, in these nurturing environments, it's inspiring to see children being helped individually to reach their full potential and unleash their inner superheroes. These are just a couple of examples that I've seen over the years, and I've had a chance to experience so many more at Easter Seals. The programs and services are amazing. One thing I can say is that it's always clear to me that every Easter Seals staff member exhibits a personal call to serve. And so do the TSI staff and board who offer their time and talents to help Easter Seals. I believe it's this very connection, the close link between a personal call to serve and the need for a community of committed people that really makes Easter Seals so powerful. That connection is made clear in our new vision statement. It's short, simple, and yet it's remarkably nuanced. This statement has really gotten me very excited. Note the precise wording. Easter Seals creates a community it is a hopeful community, not just hope for an individual, but a community that shares hope. It's an inclusive community, not a community for some, but for all people, regardless of age, income, disability, background, or military status. And speaking of community, now I like to have a little fun and so let's try something right now. I need your help. How many of you in the audience know someone who has a child with special needs? Would you please stand up if you're able? Come on, come on, jump on up there, yeah. Okay, now stay standing, stay standing. 
How many of you in the audience know a senior citizen who has special needs? Okay, a few more. That's almost everybody. Don't sit down yet. How about, let's add one more thing. How many of you know a veteran or a military family that could use a helping hand? Okay, just look around the room. Just do a full circle. Just look around. Could there be a more powerful demonstration of the need that Easter Seals must address in our communities and the magnitude of that task? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You can sit. You did great. The result we at Easter Seals seek is no less than lives with meaning, lives that in all likelihood result in their own personal calls to serve. Through Easter Seals, the circle continues. And if our new vision statement is one reason I'm excited, another is that our relationship with the national Easter Seals organization, folks, it's never been stronger. That's why I'm so pleased to have the opportunity to introduce our very special next presenter. Ladies and gentlemen, we're truly fortunate that we can have such a unique and passionate individual as the Easter Seals national president and CEO. Her personal call to serve others runs unmistakably throughout her life. A lawyer, a veteran, an ordained minister, her career began with her service as an Air Force JAG officer during Operation Desert Storm. She went on to serve on the staff of the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee and as Executive Vice President of YMCA of the U.S before coming to Easter Seals last November. And in the few short months since she's been with us, she's brought a vigor and a sense of purpose to our national organization like none we've ever seen. And I say that with all honesty. The board and I are committed to doing everything we can to support her as she leads Easter Seals toward its 100th anniversary next year. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the President and CEO of Easter Seals, Angela Williams.